illustration. <laughs> Because my story still hasn't been told. 
hope it will be someday. I hope somebody comes up to me and says, you know, let's, but you know, I have passed a lie detector test. I've passed it. And I'll take one. And anybody who wants to administer another, I will. Because I know for my God that I just love somebody and I fall for that love. And one of the things that concerned me about this film is the way Mark Lipson, the producer, treated me. He, he, well, Earl was interviewing me. I don't know if Earl knows about this. He ramps up my suitcase and he took a whole bunch of pictures of me without my consent. And they're actually in this film. He actually took them. And they were used, I feel, in a lot of this Lambert's fashion. When there's a real story there to be told that could affect the lives of so many people. And it's not been told. And I hope it is someday. Because my story's not a sex comedy. It's not silly. It hurt me when you guys laughed. I mean, maybe it was funny to you. Maybe you just laughed out of politeness, or maybe it just hit you that way. But it hurt me when you guys laughed because I thought, they really don't know the story. They don't know the heart of the fear or the trauma that I went through. It's like yesterday for me. And I think, I don't think I could die happy until I get that story told. I still want to tell it. And after this film came out, I just sat up night after night without sleep, going through all the reviews, saying, Joyce McKinney kidnapped a rapist. People thought I kidnapped and raped a man. And the chloroform part of this film, first of all, let me explain. There's been five different versions of the Mormon story that the PR men released. First version says I chloroformed him. And while he was out, I was supposed to have my way with him for three days. Okay, second version says that I used a gun. Then, by 1984, when Joyce, I, 